Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Logan from Logan for Liberty. How are you all doing? I am coming at you from the Pacific Northwest, where the sun shines so bright only to rain an hour later. On Monday, July 16th, President Trump of the United States and President Putin of Russia met in Helsinki. Of course, this stirred up some controversy. Why? Well, simply put, Democrats who have been beating the war drum against Russia for years now, and neocons, basically old school Democrats who beat the war drum for any and every reason possible, came out raging before and after Donald Trump met with Vladimir Putin. There are people who genuinely think it was a bad idea for Donald Trump to meet with Putin. But most of the controversy comes from the fact that Donald Trump was sort of light on Vladimir Putin. I personally wish he didn't bend over as much as he did, but with that being said, I don't fault Donald Trump for not being aggressive. The Democrats and neocons are upset that Trump threw the intelligence agencies under the bus. And as an American, I can't help but ask, so what? I get that Russia isn't an ally, and they are a historic rival, but why does the CIA, FBI, and NSA get the benefit of the doubt? Are we willing to get behind our intelligence agencies because of blind nationalism, which keeps us from criticizing the US intelligence agencies? Our intelligence agencies don't get a free pass just because they are under the banner of the American flag. Our intelligence agencies have been involved in election meddling, illegal drug trafficking, assassination, spying, MKUltra, and regime change. What makes that okay? A lot of what the CIA has done has caused a lot of blowback that has ended up hurting American citizens. Outside of blowback, our government has assassinated US citizens without due process. And I'm supposed to be upset that Donald Trump threw our intelligence agencies under the bus? How about no? With that being said, I don't trust Vladimir Putin either. However, diplomacy is key. Ronald Reagan and Mikhail Gorbachev weren't boxing at each other every chance they got. They remained diplomatic. And they even joked with one another. Anyway, it's not treason to tell the truth. Our intelligence agencies deserve no more respect than Vladimir Putin. Putin probably did interfere with our election. With campaign ads and maybe an email hack that showed the corruption of the DNC. A foreign entity showed that a domestic entity was lying and screwing the American people and instead we got someone who might be capable of bringing peace between the biggest superpower in the world and maybe one of the only three countries in the entire world that could even make a dent on the United States of America. I'd say the top three countries, if you're wondering, are Russia, China, and the United Kingdom. And that's it. Bottom line, this is fake and hypocritical outrage based mainly on emotions. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more content, don't forget to subscribe so you can check back and see more future videos regarding politics and culture. While you're at it, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when a new video is uploaded. Also, check out my links to my Facebook and Twitter in the description box below.